Welcome to Beyond the Verdict, where we delve into the darkest corners of true crime. Today we're going to introduce you to a tale that is bound to send chills down your spine. It's a story about love, about dreams, about the promise of a future together, all stolen away in a single night. This is the tragic tale of Jan and Kiana Pieterzak, a pair of newlyweds from Riverside. Join us now as we unravel the chilling tale of Jan and Kiana Pieterzak. Jan and Kiana Pieterzak were newlyweds, their lives filled with promise and dreams of a future together. Both were in the prime of their lives, their hearts brimming with love for each other. Jan, a proud Marine sergeant, was a man of honor, integrity, and determination. Kiana, on the other hand, was a vivacious woman, full of life and dreams, working as a promising dental hygienist. Their love story was as beautiful as it was inspiring. They married in a ceremony filled with laughter and tears of joy, surrounded by family and friends who celebrated their union. Their life together was just beginning, full of shared dreams and plans for the future. They dreamt of buying a house, of starting a family, of growing old together. They were building a life based on love, trust, and mutual respect, a life that was supposed to be filled with joy and happiness. They moved to Riverside, California, setting up their humble abode where they planned to turn their dreams into reality. Both were hardworking individuals, committed to making their dreams come true. They were the epitome of a young, dedicated couple, full of love and ready to face whatever life had in store for them, but their dreams were shattered in a way no one could have anticipated. Their lives were brutally interrupted on a night that remains etched in the annals of true crime. On that fateful night of October 15, 2008, the tranquility of Riverside, California was shattered. Jan and Kiana Peterzak, a couple who had just begun weaving the fabric of their shared dream, were about to face a nightmare that no newlyweds should ever have to endure. Imagine a peaceful evening turned upside down. The couple was at home, possibly unwinding after a long day, oblivious to the impending doom. The clock ticked away as the night deepened, its steady rhythm echoing the couple's heartbeat. Suddenly the silence of the night was ripped apart. Four men, faces masked by the darkness, forced their way into the Peterzak's home. Jan, a decorated marine sergeant, tried to protect Kiana, his high school sweetheart, but the intruders were relentless. The couple was bound and gagged, their pleas for mercy falling on deaf ears. The horror escalated as the intruders, driven by a motive as dark as the night itself, committed unspeakable acts of violence against the couple. The home that was once filled with laughter and love was now a gruesome crime scene. The perpetrators, having completed their ghastly deed, set the home ablaze in a vain attempt to erase their monstrous acts. The flames, as if in silent protest, illuminated the night, casting eerie shadows that danced on the walls of the burning home. As dawn broke, the veil of horror was lifted. The devastating discovery was made. The Petersack's dream home was now a charred monument of a night of terror. Jan and Kiana, two souls who had just begun their journey of love, were found lifeless, their spirits extinguished by an act of pure evil. The shockwave sent through the community was palpable. The couple, who had been the embodiment of love and hope, were now victims of a crime so heinous it left a permanent scar on the heart of Riverside. And just like that, the promise of a beautiful life together was snuffed out. As the news of the crime spread and intense investigation was launched, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department was now faced with a daunting task. The Peterzak home, once filled with love and laughter, was now a chilling crime scene. The investigators were faced with a gruesome sight, a sight no human should have to witness. The first step in the investigation was to understand what happened on that horrific night. The couple's bodies were found tied up and beaten, their house ransacked. The brutality of the crime was evident, but the motive was not. The investigators were left with a puzzling question. Who would want to harm this loving couple? As the team scoured through the crime scene, they collected potential evidence. Fingerprints, footprints, DNA samples, every detail was meticulously recorded. But this was a complex case, one that required more than just physical evidence. The investigators then turned to the couple's social circle. They interviewed friends, family, and neighbors, hoping to find a lead. The couple was well-liked and respected, making it even harder to find a motive. But as the detectives dug deeper, they uncovered a disturbing fact. Jan, a decorated Marine sergeant, had recently dismissed a few Marines from his unit for misconduct. Could this be the motive? Could the dismissed Marines harbor such deep resentment? 
that they decided to take the life of their former sergeant and his wife. The breakthrough in the case came when a stolen watch belonging to Jan was found at a pawn shop. The transaction was traced back to one of the dismissed Marines. The investigators had their first solid lead. This lead to a series of arrests. The dismissed Marines and their accomplices were taken into custody. The evidence against them was compelling. The men had left a trail of damning evidence, including the stolen watch and DNA evidence at the crime scene. The investigators faced many challenges during the course of the investigation. The brutality of the crime, the lack of a clear motive, and the pressure to bring the killers to justice were just a few. But through their relentless determination, they were able to piece together the chilling events of that fateful night. The investigation led to a shocking revelation that sent waves through the community. The dismissed Marines, who should have been protecting their fellow citizens, were the ones behind this horrific crime. It was a betrayal that shook the community to its core, a reminder that sometimes the monsters are closer than we think. As the evidence piled up, the perpetrators were finally brought to justice. The trial process was as grueling as one could expect, full of tense moments and heart-wrenching testimonies. The courtroom was a stage where the brutal reality of Jan and Kiana's last moments was laid bare for all to see. It was here that the mountain of evidence, painstakingly gathered by tireless detectives, began to make its mark. The prosecution presented a compelling case, built on a strong foundation of forensic evidence, eyewitness accounts, and the chilling confessions of the culprits themselves. Fingerprints left at the scene, damning DNA evidence, and the stolen possessions found in the possession of the accused painted a grim picture. The evidence was irrefutable, the guilt of the perpetrators undeniable. As the trial unfolded, it became evident that justice was on the horizon. The jury, after a meticulous review of the evidence and careful deliberation, returned with their verdict. Guilty. The word echoed through the courtroom, a stark reminder of the horrific crime that had been committed, a crime that had shaken the community to its core. The reactions to the verdict were mixed. Relief was palpable among those who had been closely following the case. The community had been holding its collective breath, and now it could finally exhale. Yet the verdict also brought with it a profound sense of sorrow. Justice had been served, yes, but it couldn't bring back the vibrant, loving couple whose lives had been so brutally snuffed out. The impact of the case was far-reaching. It served as a stark reminder of the senseless violence that can shatter lives and leave communities in mourning. The legacy of Jan and Kiana Pietrzak, however, continues to live on. Their story, though tragic, has touched the hearts of many, sparking conversations about justice, community, and the enduring power of love in the face of unimaginable horror. Justice was served, but the loss of Jan and Kiana Pietrzak continues to reverberate. In the aftermath of the crime, the community and the nation grappled with the horrifying events. This was a crime that shook the very foundations of trust and safety, leaving a lasting scar on the hearts of those who knew Jan and Kiana Pietrzak. The bitter pain of loss was palpable, reaching out beyond the immediate circle of family and friends and touching countless lives. The aftermath was a period of collective mourning, but also of introspection. It led to a hard look at the state of law enforcement and community safety measures. The event served as a wake-up call, igniting a renewed commitment to community vigilance and a re-evaluation of preventive measures. The tragic end of the Pietzak newlywed spurred changes that would ensure better protection for all. Yet despite the positive changes, the heartache remains. It serves as a haunting reminder of the cruel reality that darkness can sometimes overshadow light. The lessons learnt from this tragedy have become a part of our collective consciousness a grim testament to the fragility of life. In the face of such profound grief, the community found strength in unity. The memory of Jan and Kiana Pietrzak lives on, acting as a beacon of resilience and a call for justice. The tragic tale of Jan and Kiana Pietrzak serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the darkness that lurks in the shadows.